A couple of more days, we're going to be warmer than average with highs in the 70s and 80s, and then we see some changes as we get into Thursday. Here comes a cold front. It's going to start to drop through our area by tomorrow night, and then it's going to knock those temperatures down. Thursday, Friday, we're looking at highs in the 40s and 50s, and then we start to warm back up across the weekend. This also is going to have some moisture attached to it. If you take a line, let's say Wednesday night through at least Friday morning, an imaginary line from Harlington to Billings down to Broadus, Anything along that line in south, a chance to possibly get up to a half an inch of uh, rainfall in northern parts of Wyoming could get even more than that. And a hefty amount of mountain snow. The Bear Tuesday Absorc is over a foot of snowfall possible. That's why a winter storm watch will be in effect Thursday through Friday. And the Bighorns could get up to about 10 inches of snow. Foothills, by the way, could pick up some accumulation as well. But there's that winter storm watch that's going to kick in uh, for the Bear Tuesday Absorc. So if you're heading that way, just be mindful of that. But dry today and tomorrow with highs 70s and 80s and then the front comes in and cools those temperatures down. By the way, with the passing of this front or out ahead of this front on Wednesday, going to be very windy. We could have gusts anywhere from 20 to 35 miles an hour, especially along the Livingston area. Uh, so uh, with low relative humidity, uh, Wednesday heightened fire concerns, so don't do anything that's going to cause a spark. All right, Thursday, Friday, here's that cool down. And then Saturday, Sunday, the weekend looking pretty good as those temperatures start to rebound. And we start next week off Monday with another slight chance of rain.